So back in 2009, um, we were asked to clean the plaster in the Monk's burial ground to remove a modern brown layer that was added. Um, the reason behind adding the brown um, layer is unknown. Um, it was um, applied by the curator that was here before Dr. Winders. And so we um, started to remove it and as we did, um, we were cleaning this area right here where you see this arch, but at the time in 2009 and prior to that, all you saw was huge pieces of limestone and mortar. But as we were cleaning, we noticed that at the very top that the finished plaster made a really nice edge and went directly back into the wall. And what we ended up seeing at the end of the day was half of an arch over this doorway. And afterwards, we were given permission to do a mortar study. So we did a mortar study of um, the mortar that was surrounding these large pieces of limestone that filled this arch. And we compared it to the Spanish colonial mortar um, in the church. And they were two different mortars. And so we were given permission to start to remove the limestone and mortar because the two mortars didn't match. And what we were able to conclude after we removed the limestone and mortar was that in the U.S. Army era, they closed up this Spanish colonial arch to make this doorway more narrow, probably so they could close off this room because they stored their supplies and materials in here. And if you look at the top right, you'll see there's a name E. Oatman, MD, 1847, which is historic graffiti and dates back to the U.S. Army era. So we're able to conclude two things. One, this is a Spanish colonial arch that was constructed during the mission period, and two, the U.S. Army came in and altered the Spanish colonial arch to fit their needs for this space to be used as in a different way than the, than the um, missionaries. And so they filled this in, and then they laid down pieces of, of wood that are still there today that actually go at an angle just as the arch is, and they're still laying there and it was all done by men that were here during the U.S. Army era.